so uh, in our next video now this video we are going to see about the result and discussion for the experiment study of diuretic activity using metabolic cages so already we have performed the experiment and we have seen that the volume of the urine for the 5 hours whenever we have collected it is coming like the 2.8 ml 3.2 ml 3 ml in the control group Whereas in the test group it is ranges 11, 10.8, 10, 10 etc. So from here you just complete the observation. So here we are going to get the observation for the 6 animal. Clear? We are going to get the 6 animal. Similarly for the test group also we are going to find the observation for the 6 animal. So after getting the 6 values here we are going to find the average volume clear average volume now from this experiment see of course we can see that if we are considering that it is near about the 10 uh, so that is in that test group the volume of the urine, urine is the 10 ml where is the control group it is almost the 3 ml so it is directly showing that the result is directly showing that the drug showed diuretic activity now which drug we have given we have given the frusimide so frusimide we know that it is a high ceiling diuretics or loop diuretics we know that so whenever we are giving the frusimide what is its function so it is act by inhibiting the luminal sodium potassium and chloride co-transporter in the thick ascending limb of the loop of Henle so it is inhibiting the luminal sodium potassium and chloride co-transporter now if it is inhibiting the sodium potassium and chloride co-transporter in the loop of Henle what will happen as a result it will block the absorption of the sodium chloride and water from the filtrated fluid in the kidney tubules what does it mean that means they will block the reabsorption of sodium chloride and water they will block the reabsorption of the sodium chloride and water from urine to blood clear from urine to blood so as a result the it will eliminate through the urine clear sodium chloride and water it will eliminate uh, as a part of the urine and causing the increase into the urine output that means diuresis so uh, that's why you know that fusimide is no it is a high ceiling diuretic so, if we are getting, for example, your test drug, it is shown the uh, increase into the urine urine volume. So, on, on administration of the diuretic, volume of the urine will be increased. Now, if this volume is decreased uh, compared to the control or it is remain same, then we should say that the drug do not have any diuretic activity. So, by the observation, we can find the what is the result and from that, if you know drug, then we can say that it is what is its mechanism of action so hope you have understood it is a very easy experiment and you can perform it you can understand that what is the mechanism is involved